What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Beyond Crazy video. We've taken on McDonald's. We've taken on Chick-fil-A. We've taken on Panda Express. Today, Olive Garden is getting it. So it is $20.99 for a order of fettuccine alfredo, or chicken fettuccine alfredo. And that is crazy ridiculous, because we are about to show you how you can make meal for four people for half that price. Let's get started. All right, now as you can see from the receipt, we got some breadsticks, yes. We got the fettuccine alfredo, which does come with a side salad, and I got myself some tiramisu. Tiramisu is one of my favorite meals. I probably shouldn't be eating it because I'm sure there's egg in it, but sometimes you just got a little bit. So, to get this started, the longest part of this is going to be cooking the noodles, so let's get that started first. We're gonna do it in the pan. We're gonna fill it up to here. We're gonna salt our water. Lots of salt. You want it to taste like the ocean. We want to taste like salt in the desert. Lots of salt, guys. Lots of salt. Have you ever heard the phrase, a watch pot never boils? That might be the case. You can tell I don't break down chicken. If you like dark meat, so on the underside of the chicken, there's these little sections here of meat. This is called the oyster of the chicken. See how it popped out and that's that piece? It's the best part of the chicken. All right, so the legs we're saving for us. The wings we'll save for us. I swear there's something else. We don't okay, so now we have our breasts. We're gonna cut across the grain and we're just gonna get real nice small pieces. Okay, I walked away. I started cutting the chicken and look what happens. The non watch pot started boiling. All right, we're gonna do this in batches. We're gonna do the first half. Now, make sure you massage them because you don't want them to stick together. Move them around a little bit and you also don't want them to stick to the bottom of the pan. All right, our sauce is gonna be super easy. We're gonna bring a pan up over medium to low heat. Now, we're gonna be melting butter first, so three tablespoons of butter. Let's get it. Yes, it does require a steak knife to cut the butter. I'm just joking. So we wanna cut these into three knobs or three tablespoons. Because we're gonna be melting this, we don't wanna burn it, we just wanna melt it. All right, we wanna melt our butter. Once your butter's melted, we're gonna ladle three ladles worth of water into this. Okay, our butter has melted and we are ready for three ladles worth of pasta water. One. You guys remember that uh, commercial? I know one, two, three. <laughs> okay, anyway, so Parmesan cheese. And we're using freshly grated Parmesan cheese. All right, we're gonna add this entire thing of Parmesan. We're gonna keep stirring it and we're gonna reduce it until it's the consistency you want. Now we didn't, aren't going to add any salt because we use this A, salted butter, and we also use the salted pasta one. All right, I set a timer for the 11 minutes that the box says that it would take, but it's kind of looking done, so I'm gonna try one of the noodles and see if we're good. Still needs the other two minutes. The inside's just a little bit. A lot of people say that you can check a noodle's doneness by throwing it against the wall. Don't do that. Don't throw your noodles against the wall. That's not nice. Also, we are filming this on a Friday, so Hannah is off and she's gonna be trying this. Now, she loves fettuccine Alfredo. However, a lot of places use cream, and cream is the part of fettuccine alfredo that hurts Hannah the most. So, this does not have any cream in it, so she should be able to enjoy this and love it. Okay, our timer just went off. I just tried one, it's still a little hard. I'm actually gonna let it go 30, 45 more seconds. All right, our pasta is there, al dente. Now that our noodles are back in this pan, we're gonna turn to medium heat. We're gonna add our sauce, and we're gonna I screwed up guys, I misguided you. So I said originally three ladles of water, you only need one, my bad. It was three tablespoons of butter. Yeah, so we had to reduce it a lot longer, but now we're getting to the cheesy nice consistency that we're looking for.
All right, let's compare. Olive Garden, homemade. Now the one thing to note is we have a ton more chicken, we have a lot more pasta, so we actually have two boxes of pasta. So we could feed a lot more people for a lot less money. Remember, ours was only half the cost of Olive Garden. This is such an easy, fast, homemade meal that everybody can do. We will link the recipe down in the description. Okay. All right, it is time to try it. Which one should we try first? Well, this one's gonna make you sick. I'll just you don't have to try the Olive Garden. I don't want you to feel I've sick. I've already tried the Olive Garden. She knows what yes. it's like. I like Olive Gardens because it's oil. Really? You <laughs> like the extra oil? oil? Yeah, I like the oil. That's really weird. That's really good. My mouth is like watering. I'm actually really hungry, so. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to, hard to beat. Okay. Yeah. Let's try this one. Okay, I was skeptical because I love Olive Garden. I love everything about Olive Garden. But I will say, you can taste the preservatives in Olive Garden compared to the that's, homemade. That's good. yeah. I would say this one tastes more like fresh. And it's not like, I don't know, it's not like the same sauce as like that, but I feel like it's better. I feel like it's better way flavor. better. Yes. I will take homemade over Olive Garden. Gosh dang it! Why you gotta be ruining these restaurants for me? That is the whole point of these videos, us versus somebody else. We are trying to show that homemade is typically always better, and you could do it a lot cheaper, and it's just better quality food. You don't have all the preservatives that Crystal is talking about, so I'm gonna make myself a plate. Let's give it a try. I will give it to Olive Garden. Their breadsticks are amazing. They're so good. We bought a dozen. They're I think it was so $7.99 for a dozen baked breadsticks. All right, it is my turn to try. That is amazing. Wow. The flavor of ours is so much better than Olive Garden's. Parmesan cheese that we use just pops through so much. And I love Parmesan cheese. It's probably my favorite cheese. This is delicious. You guys gotta try this. You know what would have made this a 10 out of 10 though? It's a little mint chocolates at the end. Oh, and Andy's mint chocolate. Yeah, the oh, Andy's yeah. mint chocolate is one of my favorite things at the end of ours. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, chicken fettuccine alfredo. I would highly recommend doing this at home. Like I said, it's an inexpensive, it's super fast. 15 minute turnaround time, especially if you're doing the rotisserie chicken. And uh, it was delicious. Way better than Olive Garden's and way, way more cost effective. So I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my tiramisu. I really appreciate you guys watching today. Please make sure you drop a like, a follow, a subscribe, a heart, whatever you gotta do, whatever platform you're on, it helps us out, you guys. And we appreciate you. So I love you guys and we'll catch you on the next one.